Okay, quick video. How to build a building and texture it as if it's going to go into a game engine. Uh, delete the cube. We're going to start off with a plane. So we're going to create a plane um, on the floor. 7 to tab into top view. Uh, tab into edit mode. Um, stick a snap to transform on. Grab an edge. Uh, let's extrude it that way. Uh, e to extrude. That's probably fine. Let's grab that edge. E to extrude. E to extrude. Uh, it's going with kind of a cube looking building. E to extrude. E to extrude. Let's stick some internal walls in it. There. There. E to extrude. Uh, e to extrude. Extrude, to extrude, racing along a bit. Uh, that's probably fine. Right, so we've just got the floor pan of a building. So I'm going to select it all using A to select it all, then scale it along the uh, Z axis. Scale Z. No, sorry. Extrude along the Z axis. Extrude Z. Uh, press Z so it snaps to Z. Right, so we've got really basic building walls to which we need to add some windows uh, control R to add a loop cut mouse wheel forwards once and then left click and press return and we've added some loop cuts around the thing which we can use to cut some windows in uh, I'm just going to put the one window in it and I'm going to put the one window in this wall here right about here so I'm going to do control R loop cut mouse wheel forwards once, left click and then return to OK. Then I'm going to select that face, which right click on face select, and select that face, right click on face select, hit delete, delete faces. OK, so we've got a neat little window in there. Edge select, then we're going to select the loop using control, sorry, alt shift right click, then alt click right alt shift right click um, that loop so we've got both loops selected hit space then type in bridge bridge because we're looking for bridge edge loops which joins it up and makes it uh, a solid window right through the thing okay our next step is we need to unwrap it so we can apply ourselves to some textures UV editing up at the top here you change it from um, default to UV editing now with your model in edit mode and all the faces selected which is A twice go to mesh um, UV unwrap smart UV project and then OK and then you end up with all your faces on here now it's overhanging the UV map slightly so I'm going to do select all UVs pack islands which has just got them up so they're all they're all fitting on our sheet of paper okay. and while we're at it let's add a piece of paper there untitled um, we don't need alpha because we don't have any transparency and okay to zoom in and zoom in out of that window is the scroll wheel if you click and hold the scroll wheel you can move it around uh, go back to default view right we need to add a material to this so we go uh, new material and we're going to call it stucco but we're going to spell stucco wrong so with it all in edit mode done selected click assign if we change the colour on that we can tell the materials applied uh, I'm going to leave it whitish because stucco is white um, specularities, how shiny the shiny the things are going to look. Um, right, we're going to add a texture to this now. So we click on the texture window and go new texture. Change it from clouds to image or movie. 
change the mapping from generated to UV because we're using our UV map and we're gonna um, we need a stucco texture um, seamless stucco texture images uh, that's, that's, that's not this one let's use that if it really is view image save image as stick it on the desktop um, open this desktop and stucco open image oh but you say you can't see anything I think we need to change it into textured mode and then we need to press N to open up the uh, transform panel scroll down it to shading change it from multi texture to GLSL and solid still not seeing any textures let's mess with our lighting and make our lights a bit better uh, let's change it to a hemi lamp which will give the whole thing an even looking lighting stick it on textured, ah there we go we can see it now it's much better but this texture is quite big isn't it it's a big texture for a small wall so um, go back to our texture panel and we can change the amount of repeats I'm going to change it from 1 to 5 so 5 on the X and 5 on the Y that's, that's fine it's nice, nice and textured but you see it's still looking kind of smooth um, if we scroll down a bit and go to normals we can add some normal mapping to it to give it a, make it look like a little bit like it's rough still quite shiny so I'm going to go back to select the material and turn down the specularity a little bit that's not too bad um, just have a look at it in rendered mode yeah we can live with that right the next thing we have to do is bake this texture out so we can um, so we can get it as a flat texture which we're able to apply onto the model so I've gone back into UV editing mode and textured mode right click my model hit space and type in bake uh, bake and hey presto it bakes out our texture onto the UV which is good so now we need to apply this texture to our model because at the moment this is a model with a texture all over all of it but we want our UV our baked map on it which has got some of this lighting information in so go back to default view then we can delete this material and we go new we'll give it a name call it baked um, and then we go to the image thing image tab new change it from clouds to image or movie generated to UV then the texture should be loaded in the browser here we click this button then we find our untitled image and there it is with the lighting and the stuff on it um, if we go to multi texture shaderless and this is what it looks like without any lighting effects on it which is what we want um, we can then go to file export object and we'll, that will create an object file and a material file which links to this UV texture so if we save out texture 001 which we can do by um, going over to UV editing selecting this and going image save a copy desktop untitled PNG PNG is a fine format for it save as image and we should have that image saved on the desktop now if that untitled texture is in the same folder as the OBG OBJ file and the um, MTL file it will load all together grand hit stop <laughs> 